Blair, who's tracking your forecast, a dry start, but some rain possibly today. Yeah, exactly. It looks like later on this evening and later on tonight is when we will likely be tracking a few of those scattered showers and thunderstorms moving through. But out there this morning, looks like a great start out there. We're seeing those beautiful blue skies over Hagerstown right now, and that's sunshine. Now we'll see a mix of sun and clouds through the day today, but we'll be watching for a cold front back out towards our west, approaching the region and also bringing with it the threat for some scattered showers and storms. Also, some scattered showers linger into our Wednesday as that cold front continues to loom over the area. It takes its good old time moving across the area. So that's still bring us some rain chances tomorrow. Fall feel behind that cold front to round out the week. So Thursday and Friday, we're looking at high temperatures, mid upper 70s, low humidity and the sunshine. Really a great way to round out the week and beautiful conditions still with us. We get ahead towards this upcoming weekend as well. We're tracking the dry conditions right now, but just back out towards our west. We're looking at some green on the map behind that cold front as it continues to approach the region. So we'll be watching for for those showers and storms to move through later on today. Temperatures out there right now, we're seeing those upper 50s to low 60s up and down the I-81 corridor in areas north and west of there over towards the mountains. Closer towards D.C., we're talking 74 right now in the district, 71 in Manassas, 72 Fredericksburg. We're seeing those low to mid 70s across southern most parts of Maryland, 75 right now though over towards Annapolis. Those dew points comfortable off towards the I-81 corridor, closer towards D.C., feeling a bit more on the muggy side. We're talking about those dew points upper 60s right about 70 so a bit more tropical though even across southernmost parts of Maryland highs today mid to upper 80s still be a bit more muggy as well and these temperatures a little bit hotter than what we saw yesterday afternoon today we'll see a mix of sun and clouds through the day southerly flow as well few uh, showers those stray showers possible right around 3 p.m. for our southern zones over towards Culpeper now aside from that looks like those showers and storms hold off to at least later on this evening closer towards sunset this is a view of 7 p.m. sunset is at 721 1 p.m. So we could be seeing those showers and storms, clusters of showers and storms popping up. And then overnight tonight, we'll be watching those showers moving their way through. Looks like 6 a.m. tomorrow morning after that batch of rain pushes through late overnight. We'll see dry conditions to start, mainly cloudy, and then that chance for a stray pop up shower here or there by the midday. Few showers isolated as we get towards later on in the afternoon and evening before we do see a gradual clearing of those skies as that cold front continues to move its way off towards our east. So as we look ahead towards Wednesday evening, there's that cold front just off the coast. That'll continue to move its way off the coastline and it will meet up with Hurricane Lee. Yes, as Lee moves its way and will be parallel uh, along the eastern seaboard, it will will meet up with that front and then eventually Lee will just move its way just off the coast of New England. Now we could see that wobble where it moves its way a little bit west closer towards New England or it can move its way farther east and away from New England. That cone uh, with the very latest of Hurricane Lee still includes parts of New England and then even could be a tropical storm as it moves its way into the Gulf of Maine. Certainly uh, areas in New England keeping a close eye on this system as it will be advancing northbound. However, this is still several days out. A lot could happen. A lot could change. So something that we'll keep a close eye on. Here's we have that eight day outlook back here locally, though. We're looking at a fall field to round out the week. Mid upper 70s Thursday and Friday. Low 80s for the weekend. Beautiful both Saturday and Sunday and still low 80s as we kickstart that next work week. Shanika, how are those roadways out there this morning?